Welcome to the running on BT Sport, where today we're out of the studio because we are chasing the WWE roster around the UK tour ahead of Sunday's pay-per-view Extreme Rules. Later on, we'll be catching up with Finn Balor ahead of his match with Roman Reigns, as well as talking about Becky Lynch's first defense of that SmackDown title against Bianca Belair. But as I'm sure you can see, not only am I joined by running regulars, Trent Seven, Ginny, but a very, very special guest. One of the actual all-time greats, the GOAT, Rey Mysterio. Thanks. How are you doing? Thank oh, you so much for being here. Wonderful. Look, the view is incredible. I'm having a great time here. Uh, we kick off our second day in London, sold out arena. So uh, very excited. And it's obviously been a, a crazy couple of years traveling abroad again. How is yes. it to be back? It feels good. Uh, personally, you know, to me is, is like coming to Europe for the first time because uh, it's my my son's first Europe trip, uh, his first tour, and um, his first time wrestling in front of the UK fans. So uh, that just brings a lot of ex excitement to me, and and uh, you know I could not be happier. Like I said, it's like doing this all over again for me. And it, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Because there's not many new things in the WWE in the world of wrestling for you, but to have your son here and on this tour and this whole recent run with him. It, it's, it must be strange having new experiences for the first time in a while. Yeah, I mean, as, as a parent, I'm a nervous wreck because I <laughs> have to make sure that I have OCD. So, no, 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 you got to stay here and then move this way. And he's like, Dad, relax, man, I got it. So, uh, uh, like I said, as a, as a father, I just get so nervous, you know, wanting him to do good. But I've now learned that he's organic. You know, everything's coming out the way it should be, the way God has it planned to come out. And he's been doing incredible. I'm so proud of him, you know, as, as his father and as his tag team partner. Um, this, is, this is an incredible journey that we just started. And you always hear on these tours about how tiring they are. It's a grueling schedule. It's always a grueling schedule. You must get a bit annoyed looking over at Dominic with his youth and his energy. <laughs> Not being tired, right? Believe it or not, it's the other way around. <laughs> yeah. I'm energetic the and he's yeah, the one that... Used. Kids the now want to sleep. Like. They want to sleep. You know, my, my life has been wrestling, you know, at a very young age. So I'm so used to flying 12, 13 hours, uh, getting straight to the hotel, jump on sh just shower, get my bag ready, and let's go to the arena. And then the next day, all over again. For him, it's, it's taking a... A bit of time for him to adjust with the time zones and everything but um he looks fresh today so i'm sure that after tonight's show i'm gonna go out and have him take him to a pub or something you know enjoy <laughs> <laughs> i believe uh, trent's got a few recommendations nearby he can, uh, he can sort you out after the show i've got a few little places i'll take you there don't all worry. right all right beautiful <laughs> speak no more we first first last service for you You'll be fine. <laughs> now that the fans are back dominic made a lot of his uh early matches in, in wwe were uh, in front of the thunderdome now he's starting to adapt to crowds, but not just, you know, the same crowd every week. It's, mm -hmm. it's different crowds now. And obviously last night it was in Newcastle, tonight London. Yeah. How is he finding, you know, the, the, the difference between the crowds and, and working with them and reacting to them? He, he uh, believe it or not, he's learned so much in the past year that he's been in the ring. But the last couple of weeks that we've had when we were wrestling the Usos, Roman, John Cena, Dom and myself, he learned so much being in the ring there with, with uh, Cena. I can only give him so much advice and, uh, and kind of guide him as much as I can. And he's only gonna listen or take what he wants. It's very hard for kids to listen to their parents. They'd rather listen to an uncle or somebody else, but it's never the dad. So with Dominic, uh, he picked so much up from Cena and uh, just Cena guiding him and helping him out with little details of the match has made such a huge difference. So now, based on the, the couple weeks that we had with John and myself, he's learning how to pick up those little pointers that Cena gave him. And last night was a testament. You know, he, uh, he enjoyed being in the ring and listens to the crowd, which sometimes we as superstars tend to forget because we get locked up in this bubble that, uh, you know, we kind of wrestle for ourselves. No, we're here to perform for all the fans and you have to connect some way or another with the fans as Dominic is doing that now. Yeah. If I may, um, what you just said there, that, that group of names that he's currently, you know, he's been in the ring with, mm -hmm. that is, you know, that's one of the most steep learning curves oh. you could ever imagine in the industry. You know what I mean? 
it's, it's such an incredible thing to just be able to say that. Yeah, he was just in there with, uh, you know, me, the greatest luchador of all time. Uh, yeah, Ra you know, Roman Reigns, John Cena. Yeah. And the guy's been wrestling, what, two years? Uh, the, Fully, do you reckon? Who's this? Uh, for Do Dominic. No, right? one year. One so, year. Oh, yeah, from the, from yeah, the Summer, summer Slam, Slam, right? Year. With, yeah. uh, with yeah, Seth so Rollins, right? It's, yeah. One year. And, like, that is so, such a fast track. And, you know, a lot of people will probably say, like, oh, yeah, but, you know, when you get to wrestling there with them, you'll learn quickly. But that's an incredibly tough thing to be able to manage. Like, you know, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter who your dad is. You're still in there with those guys that you yeah. watched on the telly yourself. Yeah. And being able to just sit there and absorb it as a performer and as a professional rather than just a fan, that's incredible. A testament yeah. to him for that. Yeah, uh, yeah, straight up. Um, it, it, like, I see his, his growth inside the ring, and he does a lot of things that took years for me to learn. Mm. You know, and he's been in there for a year, so the fact that he's in there with, uh, with the Cenas and the Edges and the Romans and the Usos, uh, Seth, you know, that has given him the privilege to learn much faster. Yeah. And if he doesn't pick up on it, then it's his fault. But right. he has. And and uh, he's to a point where he's, he's starting to learn how to enjoy it. And that's the whole thing about this. Brilliant. Yeah, you have to enjoy it as well. And like one year, I didn't realize it was just one yeah. year. I mean, you yourself, you know, like we mentioned, and now to be able to do that with your son, you know, winning the, the gold, having the tag team titles yeah. around your waist, like, how, would, how does that make you feel? As a, as a father, the proudest father that can ever exist <laughs> yeah. in this world. Um, as his uh, mentor and as his best friend, you know, I'm, I'm really happy for, for uh, having this opportunity uh, being presented to us. You know, I'm happy with WWE for taking the trust on confiding in us. Uh, I'm happy with the growth of my son. I'm happy that, that uh, we're actually now living a whole different um, journey within my son's career with being in the UK for the first time. Like yeah, these are yeah, all little things that we get to point out. We're the first father and son tag team champion. Yay, my son uh, has been wrestling for a year now. Yeah, and, and our first European tour, which we missed our flight coming in <laughs> and we had to catch another flight. So there's a little story to tell behind that as well. They're the greatest yeah. stories yeah. as well, right? Running, trying to get the thing getting picked up, trying to run for the bus. The bus is all raging and rocking <laughs> yeah. on, a, on, a, on a European yeah. tour and everyone's having the best time. And then yeah. it's a sold out O2 arena tonight. Yeah, incredible. So crazy, that, that within itself, you know, uh, I can't even, like I get excited for my son um, because it's, his, it's gonna be his first time wrestling at, at the O2. And the fact that it's sold out, like I can't even imagine. My excitement just seeps through and, and I don't know if I, if I manifest it to him as well, but uh, there's a good uh, aura floating around every time we, we get ready to step in the ring. Yeah, it's just such a, it's such an incredible amount of yeah. exciting times. Like it, it's just so new and yeah. oh, just what just watching you explain it there is just you know that's it's an incredibly it's and beautiful to watch those. For two years of not being here, the last time we were here oh God, was yeah. in November 2019. Yeah, we were there, yeah. yeah, and now now uh, that we're here once again, like I. I just couldn't wait to go back on tour, uh, especially this one, because I was, I was excited the fact that my son was gonna step into Europe for the first time, he'd never been here. And even as a, as a kid, because I took him to Japan, I took him to Mexico, and he traveled with me, but for some reason, Europe was never on that list. You know, he never made it out here. But uh, now that he's here, he, he gets to enjoy it and, and see for himself how bad the UK fans are like awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was just about to say, way. you know what? We have some of the best Intercom. fans oh, here in the UK, yes. and especially it being his first European tour. Yeah. How was last night for both of you? Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. He enjoyed it very much, and and uh, there was a point where we were standing in the ring, and I was I was telling him, I said, look around. He goes, man, it's sold out. This feels good. I said, enjoy it. Enjoy it, man. Yeah. Those are the moments that you have to cherish. Yeah and uh, really let it sink in because we live our, our lives so fast sometimes that we get caught up. We don't, we don't get a chance to, to enjoy particular moments. And that was one thing that I promised myself that I would do, that I would enjoy these moments with my son because my memory is very bad. But uh, at this phase of my life, uh, to be able to just keep these little moments, traveling with him, stepping in the ring for the first time, those I will never forget, yeah. you know? And as a kid, uh, because I wasn't around home that much when Dom was a little boy, um, so now I'm, I'm getting to like 
live all these moments that I missed out when he was young with him traveling on the road with him. Yeah. That's beautiful. Do, do you think it's reignited your spark, reignited the fire, made you love wrestling all over again? Oh, yes, 1,000%, yeah. Um, that just it gave it a different meaning to wrestling and to what has been uh, put in front of me, my path, my journey for, for the 46 years that I've been alive in this world. You know, it just it gave it a different meaning. I, at points, I remember I would tell my wife, um, I don't know if I have it anymore. I feel beat up, burnt, you know, tired, this aches, this hurts. And uh, once Dominic started, like all of that just kind of just brushed away. And I'm a, I'm a different person now. Every time I step into the ring, I get to enjoy it more. There's a lot of things that I didn't enjoy back then. Now I'm taking advantage of all of that. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. All right, talking of future enjoyment, we've all got a pay-per-view to look forward to on Sunday. And we'll be talking about that after the break. Welcome back to The Running on BT Sport, where, as you can see, we are joined by the one and only Ray Mysterio. And now let's talk about Extreme Rules. I'm going to start with Becky Lynch. Made that huge return at SummerSlam. 26 seconds. 26 seconds. Loving it. Loving Controversial. it. Did you love it? Did you love it? Yeah, I mean, it was shocking. It was a moment to remember, that's for sure. Um, you know, and it's hard. It's really hard because uh, Bianca was holding on to her throne. Becky comes in and just snatches it without saying, excuse me, nothing. Like she just yeah. took it away, which now things get heated up. Yeah. And it's yeah, interesting. Just, the fire has been truly stoked. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But a lot's changed though, because you know, she's gone, she's had a baby, she's a mother, you know, she's seen like all these women now climb to the top of the mountain. Like we've said multiple times, Bianca really? has done so, so much in such a short amount of time. She's, she's coming back into a new world. Of and course we're, she's going to do a 180. We are huge fans of Bianca Belair. Here Absolutely, yeah. 100%. We're, we're back her all the way. Yeah. You know? And just see, seeing, seeing the progress she's made, I mean, I'd be really, really, <laughs> really, really roughed up the wrong way if I was her. So the, that, that ch the chase is on now. Her big sort of moment was, you know, the blood on the face when she became the oh, man. Yeah. You know, that, was, that was when everyone was that like, was oh my God, she's yeah. the coolest person that ever lived. <laughs> yeah, yeah, did, yeah. You, did you sense that before she, she had that moment? So no, I'm, I think we all were kind of caught off guard. You know, sometimes your moment comes and if you don't take advantage of it, it's gone. Who knows if it'll come back again. For her, she capitalized on it and she became this mega superstar, which I think is awesome, you know, uh, because she has everything to back it up. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing. You can be pointed as a number one superstar or uh, create all this buzz around you, but if you can't back it up, then fans are going to be like, ah, come on. <laughs> yeah. But, but Becky has been uh, putting in her work, which yeah. makes it even better. And uh, a word for Bianca as well, who we, we've spoken earlier about her being so new to the game. Yeah. But the talent there is pretty outrageous as well, isn't it? Her, her growth within Brilliant. such a yeah. short amount of time has been incredible. And she keeps, she keeps kicking ass incredibly every time she steps into the ring. She just always coming up with new stuff. And I was big on being the uh, number one creator on moves. I just love always coming out with new moves. And Bianca is that type. You never know what she's going to do. She's got the power and she's got the, the yeah, speed to back There's it just up. not one part of a game that I can see a, a, a real true weakness in. Mm. And it's yeah. just, she just says level up every time she's in yeah. the ring. Yeah. There's just another, like you said, another move or a variation or, yeah. a, you know, she finds out a new, re a, you know, she sneaks a reversal in there. She's, yeah. she's got a great brain for this yeah. business. Yeah. She yeah. really has. Speaking of leveling up, Big E Whoa. finally made that jump. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, uh, some leveling has been done. Yeah. Oh, some serious and some nice moves. Yeah. Yeah. Great right. moves. Congratulations the on the moves. The hips don't lie. The hips don't lie. Um, how happy were you to see Big E when he cashed in the other night? Oh. Had that moment on Raw. I'm incredibly happy. I'm so happy for him. I, I wasn't there, but when I saw him a couple days after, I had to congratulate him. He said, man, it's about time. You know, yeah. and, and uh, he deserves it. Mm. He's, he's a hard worker. Probably one of the hardest workers in the room. You know, uh, loves to learn, is so uh, charismatic. I mean, there's so many things that are on the checklist of 
what he can do, you know, and uh, we can't deny it. I mean, mm. his presence is there. Mm. I met him back in um, a couple of years ago, I can't remember exactly when, in India, and he is the nicest, most down-to-earth guy ever. Like, they had literally just flown in, done a load of media, and then came to the India tryout, and he would just still had so oh, much joy, so much energy, and it's just so nice, like you said, to see people who are so lovely, and who have been in the business for such a long time, because he's, he's been on the main roster Former since 2012. Mm. Yeah, he's achieved so much. One of the so first of the NXT champions Exactly, well. and now to see him capture the gold and be at the top of the division, it is, it's great to see. I think a lot of people thought when he went, you know, solo, when he went by himself, that he was going to have to change up who he was and have to change his character. And it's like, oh, no one will, no one will take you seriously if you're laughing and smiling and doing this a bit. He's stuck to it, right? Because that is who he is. And he's, he's found that, um, you know, honesty within his character that yeah. means he can actually believe in it and for, everyone for, believes in him. For me, that's the true essence of the superstar. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of crazy out there and more wild characters that you see, you know, your Kanes and your Undertakers, that kind of thing. Yeah. It's just larger than life, right? But this guy has taken, you know, a 10, 15 year career, or a 10, you know, majority like a 10 year career. The fans invest in him. He's, he's paid them off time and time and time again. and said, stick with me, stick with yeah. me. This yeah. is going to work. I know it is. Check out in the new day and everything just built and built. And the fans have got so much trust in all, in all three of them. Yeah. You know, yeah. Kofi, man. In their own way, yes. Let's not forget yeah. about that, right? Yeah. yeah. And then bang, it dropped and he got absolutely everything that he yeah, deserved. You're, the you're, fans are saying, you know what, you there's, there's no one, there's hardly anyone on the roster that deserves yeah. it more. And like you said, you know, uh, Big E hasn't lost his his touch. He's he's the same Big E that uh, was in the trio, you know, with Kofi and Xavier. Um, when they separated, he didn't become an imposter. He was still the same guy, and the fans can yeah. connect with that. When you don't have to play another role um, as somebody else, and you're being yourself organically, fans will never forget that, and that's why that connection is there. And obviously having that title, the WWE title, opens the door to these mega, mega matches. What matches are you excited to see Big E have with that title on the line in the future? I'd love to see a nice little, a nice little program with Randy Orton. Oh, just yeah. about to I'm, say I'm that. I'm a big man. Yeah, I, know was, I, was about to say. I knew you were going to say <laughs> something about Randy Orton. You seem to shoehorn that in on every show, don't you? Jenny? One of the yeah. best. Yeah. One of the best. But like, you know, there, there is just a certain aura, is it? You know, like, yeah. you, you know, yourself and Randy Orton. Those those type of people, they just elevate. Mm. And yes, I know he's the WWE champion, but it's his first title run. Yeah. And like, if if it was me, I'd love to get in there with you you know, the likes of yourself and the likes of Randy Orton and be like, right, let me get in there, let me run this program and let me solidify myself right at the top yeah. of that card. Those yeah. are the matches that take you to the next yeah. level. Yeah. They really do. Yeah. And then Randy being one of them, I, uh, I can also see a match between uh, Big E and Edge. Mm. Oh, you know, yeah. I, I can definitely see that happen if Edge, he's, he's been wanting that title ever since he came back, so if, if he still has that title, I don't see why we couldn't enjoy watching Edge versus Big E. Ima imagine that feeling, imagine that sensation, right, of, of Big E now looking over his shoulder, targets painted on his back in bright fluorescent colours, <laughs> and there's Edge yeah. <laughs> and Randy Orton yes. yeah. and Rey Mysterio. Yeah. I mean, line, right? you can be yeah. as confident as a performer, as yeah. confident as an athlete you want, but when there's three legends chasing you like that, like, well, I'm ready and raring to go, cool. let's do this. It's, that is a, yeah. that is a crazy, that's a, that's a crazy way to look at the, yeah. you know, the, the, the next six to 12 months of his career. Well, one of the men we saw Big E in the ring with recently was Roman Reigns. They both held the titles up, Universal Champion, WWE Champion. Roman Reigns, however, has the demon, Finn Balor, to deal with it on is. Sunday 1st. And we caught up mm. with Finn Balor earlier this week to see how he was doing ahead of that match. You know, I think I've proven, you know, not only over the last two years in NXT, but throughout my career that, you know, I belong in, in the title pictures. And, you know, I've proven that by winning countless titles. So, um, obviously, it's, you know, it's something fresh for, for SmackDown. And, you know, you can't under undervalue yourself in any situation. And, you know, I know how good I am. I know how uh, how well I can perform, you know, in those big match situations. And uh, you know, when it comes down to it, if you put me in the ring with Roman or put me in the ring with Cena or put me in the ring with Seth, I'm I'm completely at home. And if anything, you know, they're the ones that are gonna be uncomfortable. So uh, I don't see 
any other reason why I should not be, you know, at the top of the card with Roman and Cena, and, you know, in, in the title picture. Finn Balor there, uh, the demon, as we're seeing him on Back. Sunday. Uh, Ray, what changes have you seen in Roman Reigns over the last couple of years? Because he's stepped up to another level and everyone knows about it. We talk about it all the time, but what have you seen in him that's separated, you know, the Roman Reigns we used to know to this one now? Uh, his, his arrogance has definitely stepped up. Uh, <laughs> his cockiness, he's, uh, he's just a different performer now. You know, he's, uh, he's what he wants to be. That's exactly what he is, you know, and he's stepping on everyone right now to get to the top. I mean, he's already at the top, what am I saying? <laughs> you know, but, but uh, um, stepping in the ring with him, uh, I had very few opportunities to wrestle him back when they had the shield. So I didn't really get a chance to understand or learn about Roman, you know, being part of the shield. But now as a single competitor, Jesus. There's, I don't think there's nobody on top that has the fire that he has right now. Mm -hmm. You know, he has the drip in every single way possible. Yeah, so. but also he's definitely done a 180 since the days of the Shield. Yeah. But the demon has never been beaten. And ever since he's been in his chase towards the title, we've seen John Cena get in the way. We've seen, you know, Brock Lesnar get in the way. What does he have to do? Finn pulls out the demon. So not only has the demon never lost, but also Roman has a snarling Brock Lesnar breathing down his neck. Mm. Uh, he's already, you know, Conflicts of interest in everything going They're down, talking right? about the match before him, but you've got to be what's in front of you, right? So the, the Brock Lesnar factor, as well as the demon, that's, uh, that's bringing quite a lot into, uh, onto Roman's plate there, isn't it? Well, I just said about, about Biggie looking over his shoulder at <laughs> three legends with a target on his back. You know, look, Roman's looking back and he's got the new super sane version of Brock Lesnar that's just turned yeah. up, you know? And then you've got the demon, which is almost unstudiable. Yeah. It's, a, it's a wild card to be thrown in there. I don't know, man, maybe the pressure's on Roman Reigns now. Maybe yeah. this is the most yeah. pressure we may have even been seen him under. I like how you put it, the yeah. super yeah. saiyan Brock yeah. Lesnar now, because we've got, yes. we've, got, we've got Viking strength Brock now. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. this, is, this is the scariest <laughs> he's ever looked at. Yeah, I, I can just picture him, him on that, like, on, on that, on, in the snow, on his ranch, yeah. on the farm, just... <laughs> Carrying cows for dinner, like oh, yeah. get, get yeah. five in sheep, and that. Yeah. I mean, obviously not really, I but that, it's just some crazy, crazy version of a man. Yeah. yeah, if you were Roman, can you step in the ring and face the demon, and then in the back of your mind thinking, Brock Lesnar better not pop up wrong. It's just hard. Yeah, yeah. it is. Brock Lesnar 6.0, whatever version yeah. it is, like I, he's just ready to go. I feel like now, after all this time, because we're big Roman fans, we've loved the change of attitude, we've loved like how ruthless he is, because sometimes you've got to be in the business. Yeah. But I feel like now the walls are closing in on him. You know, he's mm -hmm. walked over so many people and it's almost like it's coming back to, to haunt him. Right. And what's he going to do now? Brock Lesnar, who looks like he's just eaten Brock Lesnar, uh, <laughs> is after him. He's, oh, he's, oh. <laughs> Some boy that Pat McAfee is. I can right. listen to him all day. <laughs> right, but, two of us. <laughs> right, before we give Pat McAfee too much praise, that's all we have time for today on The Running. You can see Trent and Ginny on Friday nights on BT Sport on NXT UK. You can also see Rey Mysterio Friday nights on BT Sport on SmackDown. And you can see Ray on Extreme Rules on pay-per-view on Sunday night BT Sport box office. Thanks as always to you guys. Pleasure. And thanks as always. so much, Thank Ray. You. If I need to fly down from San Diego just to come and do one of these again, I'm, please. I don't mind coming down. Even Get if the actually, contract. Actually, Get the contract. Good idea. Whilst you're here, we'll... We'll make sure we're doing a taping of NXT UK at BT Studios please, as well. Please, please. You can jump in. Yeah, I would love to. I enjoy it very much. That's it. It's Mustache Mountain versus the Mysterios. We know it needs father, to Father and son versus sort of father and son. <laughs> Get it signed up. Get it signed up. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much.